Hello everybody, welcome to Kirts Gaming, I'm Rose Kirts, back at it again with some more Empire War, playing the amazing mod, Awakening of the Rebellion. As we're playing as the Alliance to Restore the Republic. And we are playing on version 2.7.10, I believe? Or 2.11.7, actually. That's better. Um... Alright, immediately do that. Let's get all of our fleets into their- give them their fleet leads. Also, we gotta remember, this fleet needs a fleet lead. We'll just throw a, a corvette in there. Just in case I have to, like, do battle with them on a really quick notice, and I can choose where they come out. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot about that. How long do I have left on that? <laughs> 15 weeks, week 17. Oh, we just started, we just started, right? Yeah, start, okay, cool. And we already have a couple units there. And we're working on, did I ever move you? You're in transit somewhere. Yeah, you're over here. Um, Get you your fleet lead. Definitely need to get, bolster this fleet a tad bit. Monolus, do you need to have that heavy defenses in the ground? Yeah. Maybe not this. Oh no, that's base shield generator. Yeah, no, we need that. That's good. I was about to say if it's shutter shield, doesn't really matter that much, but no, if that's... That's some serious firepower. Ha! I didn't click you. Okay, let's just go through here. And look at all of our defenses and delete anything we don't really need. Funny enough, I think we need everything. <laughs> all of our defenses we need. Um, Navarro, you need that. You need a base. We're getting you set up. I don't know if I- I can't pull units off this because it is a front run. I gotta wait till this can get a base. I can move you to position. Let's have a look. Okay, let's figure out what we're going to be dealing with. Uh, one SP9 tank, one saber, uh, anti-infantry walkers, um, a decent amount, these are defense troopers, yeah, a decent amount, we'll have air support. Go check out Ordabana for us, yes, over there, go look at it. Pause so it runs a tad smoother. Um, hmm. Navarro. Get us that. Um, hmm. Um, we'll hold off on that for right now. And we'll put this 4,000 into getting. Getting a... Hmm. Getting another Dreadnought. Also, we gotta remember, I'm sending a spies over to Manan. So, yeah, they're in range, so... They should be getting there relatively quickly. That station would be interesting to tank. That would be another one of you coming off the line. Let's send you over to... Did they break the one over the wheel yet? They haven't. Fascinating. Let's send you over to Tatooine then. So laggy. What's upgraded? What exactly is upgraded? What did I build? Oh, Lethal. Well, what did I build over Lethal? Manufacturing base. Which is giving us 300 credits now, which is pretty good. And we can start pumping out some of these, which I might do in this sector, because this is our main money sector. Especially with Bespin. Like, every planet here is making us plus credits. And most of them are making plus 100 credits, so yeah. It might be wise to at least build a couple of these, because these can give us 40 credits weekly. Huh.
then moving on this would be very good. Kind of moving back line and back door back row. That way we can start getting our own destroyers. That would be really, really useful. All right, we're about to get good eyes on what's happening over here. Shift over to here, we have 300. What are you building? Oh, right, we're making them so we can build ships faster. I don't know if it's actually gonna be cheaper, but it will be, will be faster. And Leia, your good unit. I might leave you, yeah, because you give us building construction time, planetary control, and base income. Building construction time, planetary control. Planetary base income, okay. Uh, what just completed? Not you, right? No, yeah, I was about to say. Oh yeah, that would be over you, which is now making us 1,500 credits. That's good. That's good money. I can't build two. Can I build two? It doesn't say I can't, but I don't think I can. And I'm not going to risk the credits. Ooh, they're already making bank on that. And they got a ground unit. In space. I'll attack that. No problem. Plus they only have a tier one. That's fairly simple to take. Uh, still need support from you. That would be coming from Dreadnoughts, specifically. Much needed tank. Alright. Unpause. Let some of this run in. Make us some money. Manan already has it. Spy. Pause. Okay. Let's have a gander what they got. They got a Dreadnought, that's their biggest ship, a Karelian Frigate, Destroyer Disabler, and then that's pretty much it. They're going to have some fighters coming from this and this. I don't think you launch any fighters, do you? You do. So they're going to have a couple of fighters. And the ground, that's their main problem. Mon Calamari Civilian. Oh, these are Cannon Folder. <laughs> cannon Folder. Cannon Folder. Their infantry sucks. Like, really bad. Like, tier 1s could mop over them. I think it might be wise to attack them. Especially because this is decently defended. Construction complete of what? Man, give me that. Because we're going to have five dreadnoughts. What was that constructed? Ooh, Navarro. Move out, please. And... Move out. Now I'm scared. Every time I move out, now I'm scared. Because I don't know if my fleet is as strong as I think it is. Because I've run into occasions where it's not. We're on week 19. We have how many weeks to finish this mission? 15. Okay. We'll have time. And I hope we better get it. Also, interesting, as they're passing through, we're getting little glimpses of fleets that they have. So this is a problem for particularly the Empire, which is interesting. Also, it'll be good to see what's stationed here. Ooh. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. That's preventing them from... Plus, they could be recruiting Star Destroyers over Kua, Granite. They could also be doing that over this, but their main fleet and especially Vader, I know for a fact, is over here, stationed over Corsa. I don't know where they are now. Okay, I can see that fleet getting ready to hit, so let's prepare for battle and brace ourselves. Let's get this thing started. All right. Um, they're right there. I'm thinking similar MC-80 in the back, this to set it up. Move out this way. We're gonna actually move out to here. Which I should actually be able to... Start. Let's start by putting... This out. Oh, no. 
and then boink boink doink are you modified dreadnought i know you're like the imperial variant you're the unpainted like imperial very gritty still you are Founder stole from the Empire on the ground you as modified. Purchase several dreadnoughts from a smuggler now. Un unmodified. These are dreadnoughts he's purchased from a smuggler. Stop moving. Hold back. Pull ahead. Pull ahead. Pull ahead. Pull way ahead, because you guys are free. So you'll be taking the brunt of the damage because free. Now we don't have X-Wings, but we do have these guys and a couple of these fighters. Alright. Why don't you give us a look. So they're coming... Let us be really sneaky here and go in this way, at least with these ships. Don't do any of that. Come back here. All right, let's get our fighters together. Group one. Group two. Group three. I'm hoping to come up from behind and ambush them. Because these are free units, after all. And if they fall for this ambush, like, if we can draw them out, like, get in range of that, and be prepared. Oof. We're gonna be losing visuals fairly soon, I think. Yeah, we just lost them. Oh, these are the variants. These are the corporate sector variant, I believe. Because they got the, uh... They still got blue lasers, so these are kind of like Clone Wars era. They're not falling for it. So I do want you to collect, stay here, you are shooting mag pulses at us, don't really care though, we are doing decently against them, they are pulling off, not really, we are just in range of them, that's what's going on, alright, um, if we just hold this plan, fall back a slight bit, and be ready, because this is going to be spooky. Yeah, we're in range of them, shockingly. Some of our weapons are in range of them, funny enough. I was about to tell you not to auto-cast that. I mean, it's good, I guess, because they have to come in now. A little bit closer than they probably wanted to. How have we not captured this? You kidding me? And wait for us to be in range. Engage. 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 Do not do that. Engage. Hey, group two. Yeah, group three. 
Hit the shield generators. Alright, now engage. Don't do that. Alright, and how's the fight over here doing? They are pulling off. Where are you going? What is your purpose? Why do you do the things you're doing currently? So shields are down on this, shockingly enough. Alright, what's over here? Fan communications. Grip with great nah. Uh, group two engage with that. I actually want to see group two. How do you look when you're fighting? What do you shoot with? Is it just normal? It seems to be just normal. It doesn't really look that cool. Like it does in the show. It would have been cool if they, like, shot blue lasers or something. And this ship's just kind of getting trounced on, luckily. I'm just gonna do this. Just taking some screenshots. All right, and group two, group three, group one. Turn, 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 turn. Um, engage this. How's this fight going? Somehow we're losing still, funny enough. We'll send over our bombers once we've won this fight. You have flak, don't you? Ah, uh, you have light flak. Engage, engage, engage. And that's done. Hit group one, fall onto that. And engage, engage. I don't actually know if you're even in range. I'd be shocked if you were. They seem to be, they, oh, they got light turbos. I don't really care about that. We are, don't do that. Is this, yeah, that's a stunner. Which makes our weapons less effective, which might be why they're still alive. Hey, group one, group two, group three, all engage. And spring a trap for this. Take out this ship, please. And you two. Focus your fire onto this thing to kill it quickly. Group three, re-engage this. Group one, group two. Group one, you engage this. Group two, you engage that. I'm fairly confident a couple more hits from these Dreadnoughts can do the trick here. Yep, kaboom. And rockets are away. List a couple of them. Ooh, are those mag pulses? They are! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Light ion torpedoes! Oh my god, that's amazing! 
That just completely is tanking them. That's super cool. I didn't actually know that you guys had ion tarps. You have ion tarps, don't you? Do ion stunners. No, you don't. And we have one. I believe with no losses. Which is a fairly... Eh, I wouldn't say respectably sized fleet. They didn't exactly have anything. But still, not a bad victory. We lost one squadron z 95s I'll take that. Especially since they had a carrier in the fleet, which meant they had, I believe, an endurance carrier. Which means dropping, I believe, three squadrons of different fighters at a time. I might be 100% wrong about that. And the orbit is now ours, thankfully. Um, I am actually going to leave that one here. Just a short little episode today. I didn't really feel like doing a long one today. Ooh, that's what that was. That was our uh, dreadnoughts coming off the line. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Hey. Huh. Hey. You. Why don't you make us... Mm -hmm. One of these... And you... Make us one of these. Perfect. And I'm gonna leave that one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. If you want to see more Empire War, go check out my other playlists on this channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!